Hello and welcome back to Journey Beyond. Today I will be previewing one of my latest hauls from Crafters Companion. So this one is a little backdated you guys. This one is from August 15th. I've just been busy trying to catch up and film and so sorry about that but I just wanted to share with you some of the items that I got. Um, so a couple weeks ago they had a really good sale on their tape. Um, like their glue pens and their glue dot pens and they had been out for quite a while so um, I just jumped on it so I won't have to buy any anymore for a while so I've tried different brands and I do like their tape I know I've, I've watched some other youtubers and some people have some issues with it I've never had any issues with it I really like it so um, I'm not going to show you the complete um, how many I actually bought because it's just too much so I wish in the end I'll show you the pictures but for the glue dots I did buy um, two packs they came in a six pack so this is their glue tape pen their dots and these are um, really good for when you are like taping down your sentiments because they don't especially if you have like really intricate dies um, they work really well so um, I bought two six packs of this and then I bought the regular glue tape and I bought just a six pack of that. So they were really, on, um, they were on a good sale. I think at the time, I wanna say, the glue tape pens, for six of them, I think it was like, oh my goodness, $20, $20 or $21 with my discount. And then the glue tape pen, the dots, I think they were a little bit more. I think they were 23, but now it sounds a little crazy, but um, if you kind of divide out the costs, they're not that expensive. So um, I really like their, their glue tape pens, so I bought those. And then I have quite a few items on here. I have some of their vellum, some of their um, festive giftables collection. So we're gonna go through a few of those things. And some, I think I have some layerable, sentiments and some buddy bags from totally tiffany so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys that so i'm going to start with the buddy bags from totally tiffany because they're right here on the top so um in one of my previous videos i had actually said that i had never really used any of her products um, i recently got some bags and i got an embossing heat station that i bought off of ebay which actually ended up being damaged but the seller was really kind and just told me to go ahead and keep the item and actually refunded my money. So instead of throwing it out, I just put some super glue and it is good as new. So I got really lucky on that. So this is their Terry Buddy Bag. So this one you can use, as you can see, they give you some different ideas of what you can store in it. So you can store your markers or your paint brushes. Um, if you flip it over, it gives you some of the other, other Buddy Bags that you can purchase and then it kind of tells you what you can use them for so um, or you can just use them for anything that you really want so when I first got these I won't lie you guys I was like why would I pay that much for plastic but <laughs> actually they're very useful and um, I was really surprised I I'm going to show you one that I have already done that I'm actually storing my metallic ink in so it actually came out uh, really nice so my goodness see I don't even know the name of this buddy bag um, but I like to kind of organize my stuff so where I know where all the colors are what I'm using and I actually have them on the sides too so I kind of try to put them in the order that they're in so so this one I actually stored um, on the top and the bottom here just kind of stack them and it worked out really well and I like how they're all in like one place so when I'm ready to use my sparkle inks on whatever project I'm doing I just pull that out and here they are I have my colors so I know what colors that I'm using what the name of them are and so forth and so on so um, so I was actually impressed with these like I said because at first I was like I am not paying six to seven dollars for some just flimsy plastic but they um, very surprisingly they work really well um, so I'm really happy with them. So if you guys have never tried the Totally Tiffany line, I can't recommend any other stuff that I've used of hers, but this, these buddy bags, I really do like. So um, this is a Terry buddy bag. This is a Katia buddy bag. So I know this one's real popular. This one's actually sold out a lot. So for this one, let's see. This is, they recommend you can store your ink pads in them. 
you can use them because they have this one has like individual compartments as you can see right here so this one you can like label and put like your small applique dies in there or if you do applique for like um, embroidery you can use that for that again it gives you a idea sheet of what you can use the other stuff for um like their shelly i actually do wash, use that for my washi tape as well so they work really well and then I got the Barber Buddy bag. So this is a two, is it two compartment or four compartments? I wanna say two, you guys. Yeah, it's two. So this one, they have a variety of things you can store in here. You can do your Nouveau drops. You can do your um, your sprays, some of your glues. So I might be doing that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this one for yet. But again, same idea, same sheet. And then I got the Dawn Buddy bag. So this one has four compartments as well. It's a little bit smaller, but I think longer. So this one, they have the Nuvo drops, um, just different things you can store your stuff in. So this will help me get really organized because my goodness, I have stuff all over the place. Like I've, I've said to you guys so many times, I am organized, but I have so much stuff that I'm trying to put away that um, I need some stiff space to do so. So um, the next thing, since it's right here, I got their printable vellum paper. Um, I think it's great that it's printed, printable. So you can just pop this in your printer, print whatever you want on them, and then um, use it in your projects. Vellum is a beautiful, very light, um, opaque type of paper that you can kind of see through. This is used a lot for like wedding invitations, anniversaries, really special events like that. But I think vellum is gorgeous. I think it's a gorgeous medium to use for your crafts and your projects. Next, let's see, I have, I wanna say I have a couple of auto ships in here too, you guys. So um, I'm gonna show you those as well. But here's some crafts cardstock that I bought. So I've never used a crafter companion craft card stock. So I'm hoping it's good quality. I've actually used like Cricut craft stock card paper and it's fantastic. Let me see what this feels like. So it's not too bad. It basically just feels like a cardboard insert and that's actually what it looks like. It's a little pliable so it's not as thick as I hoped it would be but it's actually, um, I want to say the same thickness as your card stock that you get from them. So you can use that for many different things. If you want to do like a homemade look, um, homemade tags or whatever background you're trying to do, that would be good for that. Next, I bought some Centura Pearl. I bought it in mink. I really do like that mink color. So when I got it, I mean, it's beautiful. You guys can see it, the lamp's a little bright. Um, it's a very pretty color. Um, although, like I said in the past, Sometimes when you purchase this stuff online, the color isn't exactly the color it is in the picture. So this is actually a little bit darker than I anticipated it to be. Um, but it's still, I mean, obviously usable. And this is their Centura Pearl. The Centura Pearl is pretty good paper. I do like it, um, but it's a little darker. I was hoping it would be more, just a little bit lighter. And I thought it would have more of a pink tone to it, but it's kind of a dark, and I can't really see it real well in the camera because it's really bright because of the lighting but it's um it's a little darker than it looks so but it is it is pretty let's see next i have there's so much stuff on here you guys um let's do the giftables so these giftables um i got these are like little boxes you can make so um, she had actually previewed these on craft day for HSN and I think I got two for, for some reason, but I'm not really sure why. Cause I remember going through this order and I was like, why do I have two of these? So, but that's okay. So um, I'm gonna show you. So these are like little boxes you can make. So these are little boxes you can make, and this is called the Jolly Quartet, and you can make these cute little character boxes. These are cute. So, okay, so these ones, you guys, is called Love from Santa. So see, these are the same, you guys. So they sent me two of these of the same thing. So 
Not sure what happened there. And this is from your love from Santa. So it has your Santa, your elf, and your reindeer. And then it has like cute little um, baubles you can make right there. Okay. So I think this is just kind of an add-on. And this has like the body where you can actually cut the body out. And these are the element, these little pieces you can add on. So that makes sense. Okay, but yeah, I got two of these. So one of these I will be selling on eBay or on my website. These are cute little Christmas boxes you can use for treats or if you want to use them for like a gift card um, or just like anything small, jewelry. These are great for kids. I mean, they're good for all ages in my opinion. Um, let's see what else I got you guys. I got... I have some few, a few other things, like I said, but I think that some of them are auto ships. And I think, yeah, two of them are auto ships. Oh, and this is the stamp set. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that little shake there. This is a stamp set that comes with this that you can use. Just keep hitting my camera there. So the stamp set comes with this and it has like all the little Christmas sentiments, especially for you with love from Santa, naughty or nice, thank you so much. Really cute. Warm winter wishes. Uh, speaking of winter wishes, I got this winter wishes um, layerable. It's, yeah, this is a layerable um, die. So I actually, accidentally bought this twice so I bought one from HSN and I bought another one off Craft Stash not thinking I had I'm uh, not Craft Stash I'm sorry Crafters Companion so I did not realize I already had this see that's what you guys got to be careful about your inventory because sometimes you'll think oh do I have this oh no I don't have it and then you go and order it and then you have it so um like I said I um this theme is real popular this year like the Nordic Reindeer the Woodland she has very um a lot of these are real similar but I really like that whole look. So this is kind of how it works. You kind of layer it one on top of the other and that would be the end result right there. Um, next, you guys, I have, yeah, these are, I think, my auto ships. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show these two. I know these came separately, but I just wanna show you what they look like. So this was from, I want to say June or July, she had these on auto ship and I got these. And so this is her confetti box um, die. These, so these are add-ons. This is a just to say, and it has these cute little sentiments right here. You guys can see that. So I have never used this yet, but I really want to. This is the pop-up confetti. I keep hitting my camera, sorry. Um, this is a pop-up confetti collection. So I think it is really cute. If you guys have never seen it demonstrated, you can go onto YouTube and look up her on Crafters Companion and look this up. But the way these work are really cute. They're really fun. You open the box and these little cubes pop out. Then you can put these little sayings on there. It's really, really cute. Really cute idea. It could be used for birthday, Christmas, any type of gift giving. And then here, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Get a little closer. So you're a star, you're the best, thinking of you, thank you for your help for everything. And then the original ones it comes with, it has like happy birthday, et cetera, et cetera. So um, these are on auto ship and you get different uh, sayings. I think it's like every couple months or however they, the auto ship was set up for this. Um, this one is her, um, what do you call those? Edge torn edges or her edge dies. I forgot what they're called. Um, but this is a honeycomb one. So I know they're like torn edge dies or something like that, but um, they're really cute. This is a cute idea. I don't know if I would ever use it for that because like, every time I see honeycomb, it makes me think of spring and bees and summer and things like that, but really cute. And this last one is wildflowers. As you can see right here. So it has like the die here and then it has like the outer die right there are pretty and these are on auto ship and then the last thing I got in this collection you guys is the these are for the pop-up boxes so I don't know if you've ordered the pop-up boxes she came out with those a little while ago but these um, I just purchased straight off her website I don't think these were an auto ship so um, 
So the last couple things I showed you right here, I'm kind of mixing them in. These are from HSN, just to let you know, and the rest is from Crafter's Companion. So this um, is your gingerbread house. So these are just, the pop-up box itself is a separate die just so you guys know because some people will purchase this because I've actually had people ask me questions about this before um, this is a separate die so these are just add-ons so this is your gingerbread house you can see there's an example right here that paper is really cute I actually just got some of that which I will be showing you in another video um, let me get close so you guys can see so here you have your stamps right here, you guys, and then you have your dies right there. And then the next one is really super cute. This is Santa and uh, Rudolph. So I'm gonna get a little close so you can see that. So you have your stamps here, and then your dies there. And then you can create backgrounds like this. Um, so they, she does have her holiday paper, or her, I don't know what she calls it, but um, this is like the example of the paper you can purchase. Really cute. I like that. So this is what I got for craft day for um, August, you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, have you gotten any of this stuff? Do you like the Totally Tiffany buddy bags? Do you like the her products? Do you think you organize better with them? Um, have you got up any of the pop-up boxes or the confetti boxes? Do you guys like those? But um, thank you guys for joining me today and I will see you later. Bye.